Hi there. Let's take a look at another key measure of profit and a profitability ratio. This time we're looking at the operating profit number and the associated operating profit margin. Operating profit is the difference not just between the sales revenue and the cost of sales, which is the gross profit, but also after taking account of the other operating costs of the business, such as marketing or rent and rates. So let's look at an example. Let's imagine we had sales revenue of half a million pounds, £500,000. If our cost of sales were £100,000, then the gross profit is the difference between those two, 500 take away 100. The gross profit is £400,000. But of course, that's not the final profit of the business because we need to take account of these other operating costs that aren't in cost of sales. Let's imagine they were £300,000. Therefore, the gross profit of 400,000 less the 300,000 of operating costs gives us an operating profit of 100,000 pounds. So the operating profit margin is a profitability ratio, as always expressed as a percentage. And the formula for this is to take the operating profit in monetary value divided by the sales revenue. And because we want a percentage, we multiply that fraction by 100 to give us the percentage margin. If uh, we were looking for this data, we'd look at the income statement for both the operating profit and also the sales revenue, because it's the income statement that tells us about the sales and the associated costs and profit of the business. So if we had our examples from uh, the previous slide a few, a few seconds ago, our operating profit was £100,000. We divide by the sales revenue of £500,000. And because we need to express the margin as a percentage, we multiply that fraction 100 divided by 500 times by 100, which means that the operating profit margin of this business would be 20%, which in other words means that for, for every £100 of sales revenue, the business is earning £20 of operating profit. On its own, the operating profit margin will tell you whether a business is profitable or not, but much more importantly is to look at changes from one year to another. Is the operating margin rising or falling? And also, very importantly, to compare with similar businesses, particularly competitors. A fall in the operating profit margin could be caused by a number of factors. For example, it could be that the gross profit margin has fallen, which means that uh, other things being equal, the operating profit margin will also fall. It could mean that the gross profit margin hasn't changed, but the business is suffering from higher operating costs, thereby reducing the operating profit and the operating profit margin. And obviously, conversely, an increase in the operating profit margin could also reflect the fact that the gross profit margin has improved, which will feed through to the operating profit margin line. But it could also mean uh, that the business has better control of operating costs. Perhaps it's cut its operating costs, which improves the operating profits and therefore improves the operating profit margin. There we go. That's just a very short introduction to the calculation of operating profit and the operating profit margin. 